I think we are all aware that birds are weird. But you know what's weirder than a bird? German robot bird! I'm Anthony, and yes, that is a real robot bird. It is called the smart bird, because adding the word smart onto the beginning of anything lets you know that it is a technological innovation. It's made by Festo, a German company that mostly deals in making factory and automation equipment, which you wouldn't necessarily think of as being the most badass thing in the world until you check out their bionic learning network department. This is a small group using biomimicry to help advance automation. Now, biomimicry takes inspiration from nature to solve human problems. So for instance, their group has made a robot robotic arm based on an elephant trunk for grabbing things. That's an elephant trunk, not an octopus arm. So it probably won't wind up being a supervillain. Trace did a whole video of innovations based on biomimicry, so you guys should definitely check that out. The smart bird is based on the herring gull and is about three feet long with a wingspan of six feet. Are you ready for the crazy part? Whole thing, battery, motor, housing, all of it weighs a pound, a pound. And it's made of carbon fiber, so it's pretty tough. It can take off, fly, and land on its own with no assistance. And efficient bird flight takes a lot of precise movements and in-air corrections. The idea here isn't to release the smart bird as a product necessarily, or even to make better and better robot birds. It's pretty impractical for surveillance and it can't really carry any weight. The real point of this thing is to figure out how to make an extremely lightweight, tough, energy efficient machine with the ability to make delicate motions and corrections. The team can apply everything it's learned from the smart bird to everyday robotics and machinery. They can also apply it to creating a terror army of super efficient German robot pterodactyls. So do not think I am not one step ahead of you Festo Corporation with your tentacles and your robo birds. Subscribe and I will report my findings on this possible menace as they develop.